I'm here at the Angelina Animal Hospital in Lufkin, where I was just speaking to the lead veterinarian here um, and the owner of the hospital, just a little bit about kind of pet safety when it comes to the extreme heat that we have seen the last few days, the last several days. Um, it has been in the hundreds and the feel like temperature has been even higher due to the humidity and it's so important right now to kind of get the word out just talking a little bit about um, the pet safety when it comes to temperatures that are this high um, I was speaking to the veterinarian she was just saying that pet owners really need to monitor their animals very closely during this time um, a lot of times in the other uh, the, the kind of colder months throughout um, people will take their dogs out to the dog park take them on walks things of that sort and um, it's usually not that big of a deal but right now it being so hot they really can't stand being outside um, that much and it's very important to kind of limit that time um, she was saying some recommendations are taking your dogs and your pets earlier in the morning when it's not so hot and later in the afternoon um, once it kind of cools off to do all of these activities another big thing is making sure that the sidewalks are not are not too hot for a dog's paws there um, if you can touch the ground and it burns your hand then it more than likely and most likely will burn your dog's paws um, at the bottom of it and that's another important one we were talking a little bit about heat strokes as well I'm um, just talking about some of the signs and the symptoms um, confusion, dizziness, um, a little bit of vomiting as well as diarrhea. Um, these are all big signs of having a heat stroke. Um, also heavy panting, drooling, things of that sort. So those are some things that pet owners can look out for when it comes to um, heat strokes in animals. She was saying, you know, if you believe that your dog or cat does have, is, is having a heat stroke, the most important thing is to get them out of the sun first and check the temperature. If it's above 104.5, then there is a chance that, that that animal is having a heat stroke that is an abnormal um, temperature to have at that for that animal. Um, she was saying that you shouldn't immediately douse, you know, lay it in, in ice or anything like that because it then can cause it to go into shock. Um, the best thing to do is kind of take a wet, damp towel and kind of damp the dog um, all over with that as well as getting them in front of a fan and just kind of monitoring that temperature. So you can hear a little bit more tonight at six um, on this issue and kind of what the best practices are with the summer heat. I'm Avery Gorman.